you know, we've still got Tulo, we've got Cargo, we pick up Kudyar. Jamie Moyer's a great feel-good story. Kudyar, Kadire, Tomato, Tomato. Hey, speaking of Jamie Moyer, it was announced by manager Jim Tracy that the 49-year-old has earned a spot in the rotation for your Rockies. He'll pitch in the number two position behind Jeremy Guthrie. Now, Moyer hasn't pitched in the major since 2010 while recovering from Tommy John's surgery. But with just one win, he'll become the oldest player in Major League history to win a game, a record which has stood since 1932. For more baseball news or updates, visit our website at channel7.com and click on the land. She'll be watching the playoffs from home as they were officially knocked out of the playoff race on Saturday, losing to the Nashville Predators 6-1. to Before leaving the ice for the final time this season, the Avs players gave their game jerseys to randomly selected fans and signed autographs. It's a given that head coach Joe Sacco will be back, but now it's wait and see in free agency as to what the team will look like next season. The Baylor women's basketball team became the first college team, men's or women's, to achieve a 40-0 season, winning the NCAA championship with a resounding 80-61 victory over Notre Dame last night. Brittany Griner led the Bears with 26 points, as well as 13 rebounds and five block shots. Baylor coach Kim Mulkey said after the contest that Griner will go down as one of the greatest post players of all time. Brittany has said that she will return to Baylor for her senior year in an attempt for another title. Welcome to Channel 7 News, I'm Ron Unger. We begin with new developments from the North Fork Fire. The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office is investigating a problem with the emergency notification system. According to Jefferson County spokeswoman Jackie Kelly, about 12% of the people who should have received calls did not. The problem, according to Kelly, was caused by a software glitch. The Sheriff's Office is working with the company that created the notification software to fix the problem. However, Kelly said the system would still be used if more evacuations are necessary. Nearly 100 students at Santa Monica College protested the recently raised tuition costs of summer courses. They expressed their displeasure in front of the Board of Trustees on Tuesday. A number of protesters suffered minor injuries when they were pepper sprayed outside the trustees building by campus police. Two students were taken to the hospital. Santa Monica is tripling the per unit tuition for core classes. Students are concerned with the tuition increase, expressing that the raise is Santa Monica's way of privatizing public education. Coming up after the break, important business and health news you may be concerned about. Stay tuned. 